folks, we are gathered here to celebrate the life of Naomi Cruz. Naomi went home with the Lord on February 29, 2024, with a lingering illness. Today, we gather to honor, celebrate, and cherish the memory of my beautiful mom, Naomi Cruz. What she loved to go by is, oh my. <laughs> I will celebrate your strength to this day, and I am forever grateful. After all, to the well and organized mind, death is but the next great adventure. I'll make sure Jason never forgets you and everything that you've done for him. You fought so hard for to stay with us a little longer. You showed us your strength and you won. You can rest now free from all the pain I know you're watching over all of us and protecting us, being our guardian angel. Like you told Jason, 20 minutes after you passed, I'm pretty sure you visited him in his dream. Because when he woke up, he said, Lola is my guardian angel now. But we didn't even tell him that she passed away already. No, I love you always, huh? <laughs> As I look around this room, I see countless faces filled with love, all deeply touched by her presence. She was truly an, an inspiration. I know many here share in my grief, and if there's one message my mom would want me to convey today, it's a heartfelt thank you to everyone. We once fell asleep while holding hands. I know it comforted her because she told me I was her warm shelter, but she had no idea she was mine. Mom, I miss you more than words can express. I wish this was a bad dream I can wake up from. The void left by your presence and voice is a constant, constant ache. Our conversations on my way home from work are now cherished memories. Now, I eagerly anticipate glimpses of you in my dreams or signs of your presence. Our ultimate goal in life is to be with the Lord. I am confident that my mom is in heaven <laughs> with a big smile, and this brings me peace. She's our guardian angel watching over us and I hope she knows how deeply blessed we feel to have had her in our lives. She'll forever be in our hearts. I love you, Mom. Please grant me the strength and guidance, and I promise to continue making you proud. Thank you, Mom, for everything. Everything you have taught me. The memories. How you used to, how you used to always complain. How you were just the cleanest person I've ever known. But, I will always miss you, I love you, and always talk to you. But, that's all I have to say, but thank you. I miss your voice, I miss your smile. I miss how much you love me. I just miss you, Mom. I was never ready for you to leave. My heart physically hurts when I think about the fact that you're gone. Sometimes I would hear you pray to God whenever you were in so much pain while you gripped my hand. So tight, hurt my heart. You said to me, thank you enough for taking care of me, but all I want is for you to do good at school. That is the only thing I want for you, for your future, okay, Anak? I love you. Naomi went home with the Lord on February 29, 2024, with a lingering illness. Do you know that Naomi is alive? She is spiritually alive. Though she is physically dead, she is alive in the presence of her Creator. She's enjoying heaven a place where pure human desires are fulfilled, resting in the arms 
of the loving Jesus. She's now in a place where there are no more days, no more nights, no more pains, no more disappointments, no more hunger, no more thirst. A perfect place, resting. I am sure that her sudden departure from the family, her husband Marty, the children with a young age of 50 has created a tremendous void in the hearts of their loved ones, isn't it? What is left to be enjoyed is basically those memories that you and I can cherish. In behalf of my family, I would like to extend our deepest sympathy and condolence to Marty, to the children, to the mother Luz, and of course to John, her brother. Folk, I don't know if you realize that death is reality. No one can escape death, but you can prepare a peaceful death. Do you believe in that? When someone dies in the family, it brings mixed emotion. Of course, there's sadness. There is grief because the family will miss the departed loved one, particularly now Naomi. On the other hand, the family can rejoice. The loved one can rejoice in the midst of grieving because they knew that their departed loved one is spiritually alive and in the loving arms of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's the reason why we can rejoice. As long as they have a personal relationship with God through Jesus Christ, they are assured of eternal security. They may die physically, but they are still alive. And that is what Jesus Christ told Martha. What you can see, from this casket it's just the house of Naomi the real Naomi already departed her house she's now in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ enjoying heaven forever and ever while you and I are grieving because she created a tremendous void because of her departure the Bible says in 2nd Corinthians chapter 5 verse 8 that absent from the body She's no longer in her body. The Bible says, Apostle Paul said, present with the Lord. Naomi is absent in her body, physical body. And that is why she is in the presence of her Creator. And that is the very reason why you and I can celebrate her death this evening. Now to those of you who are grieving, especially the family, Marty, Luz, John, and the children. May I encourage you? I have a few things to suggest. In order to accept the reality of death so that you can move on and live a normal life until you see Naomi someday in heaven. You have to face life with courage. You have to trust God and enjoy life as if Naomi is beside you. That's my piece of advice to you, Marty. Don't be too hard on yourself. God has a purpose and a reason. Thank God your children are grown up. They can be a good help to you. Third, worship the Lord. Like David, he dressed up and he went to the house of the Lord in order to worship Him. When there are difficulties that happens in our life, this is the best time to draw yourself close for eternity. You will miss that person. You will miss a thing when you lose it. Tell yourself you cannot bring back Naomi to life again. But someday you can join her in heaven. That's why it's important that you have a genuine relationship with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. While you are waiting for the day that you will have a great grand reunion in heaven with Naomi. When you talk to God each day, ask Him to help you accept the reality of life so that soon you will recover and be normal in your life. Because it's not easy to get over with grieving. It's not easy. Again, I always recommend to find a local church who will be your spiritual family to give you support, prayer, and encouragement. Before I end this message, let me just share to you my desire for all of you this evening. I hope all of you, especially as we celebrate the Holy Week, because the Holy Week starts at the end of the Palm Sunday. Today is 
the Holy Tuesday. Tomorrow is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And through this week, there are so many things that happen in the life of our Lord Jesus Christ before He died on the cross and then resurrected on the third day so that He can offer you the gift of eternal life. Only Jesus can give you eternal life. Only Jesus. Beloved, I pray and hope that you put your faith in what Jesus Christ did at the cross of Calvary for the forgiveness of your sin so that you can have the gift of eternal life. It's your choice. It's your choice. God is giving you every opportunity. There is no magic formula. All you have to do is believe in Him. That the message that He heard today, I pray that it will resonate into their hearts that someday they will come to realize only Jesus can bring us to heaven. That's why He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one will come to the Father except through our Lord Jesus Christ. So Father, I pray for the family. You strengthen them, you take care of them, you comfort them, Father. You give them the hope, the eternal hope of eternal that Jesus Christ is there for you, for them all the time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you and God bless you. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil.
guys. Thank you. We've now come to the fourth station. So um, we have if you have today is an important funeral. Come to me. All you that are weary. Uh, I know that my Redeemer lives. And I'm Once again, united with the goodness of all good people, let us now pray in the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. The blessed Almighty God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit descend on you to Anna. Just like we have prepared a home for our doves, the Lord has prepared a home for Naomi. We're going to release one dove representing Naomi going home to be with the Lord. Then we'll release the flock of doves representing those who have gone before us and those who will follow. If we put our faith in Christ, we too will go home to be with the Lord. Amen. Amen.
Love you guys. I love you guys.